Do you want to learn how to create a beat and effect slideshow like the one you're watching right now? And stay with me, I'll show you how. Hey, welcome to VC Creator Secret Tutorials. Before we get started, if you're new here, I encourage you to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you will be notified when I publish new tutorials every week. For more unique awesome videos like this, check the links in the description below. So without further ado, let's get started. Alright, in order to pull this off, we need images. Pop my already. I also need audio, so you can use the one in Fimura that will be okay or you can import some more so let's get started the first thing we need is to uh, detect bits bit detects that is bit detection now right click on the audio right click on any audio especially the one with the strong bits then you click on bit detection in order to detect the bits I've done that already you can do the same and also you can right click on it and choose option change it to two or four anyone so drag down your your music now you can see all this all this marker the red and uh and the blue all the marker over there that is the beat detection the upbeat and the downbeat the red one is the up and the other color is a downbeat so what we're going to do here is we're going to edit our photos our images based on the beats on the beat on the beats the red one or the other color so all you need to do is to drag down your images then edit it to those marker markers drag them one one after the other and align and make sure you Take note of that marker. So, first of all, let's just bring down all our images. Then we can go ahead and edit them and arrange them properly. Right now, just make sure you are cutting it down to the bits, to those markers, one after the other. We're done with that let's go back and edit our image let's just right click on it and go to crop and zoom then click on pan and zoom change the ratio to 16 9 and make some adjustment right there on the screen then you can add some movement to it let's add a kind of slow movement when you're done with that you click ok and you can see the movement now now move the headline the move the move it to, to the middle and split right on the other color you know marker now I'll go to the next image do the same thing to the image go to crop and zoom pan and zoom change it to system 9 and add some movement to it Now split it in between just on that red marker. Now right click and go to crop and zoom on the second part and you click on reverse. Now this is what we have. Now let's go to the next image. Click on that icon it should take you to the same place to crop and zoom then change it to system 9 and add some motion to it now move to the next next one also and do the same thing so go through all the images and apply the same thing all you need to do is to click on crop and zoom go to pan and zoom change the ratio to sustain line and apply some movement to it it could be 
you want the movement to be slow make sure the inner box is wider and if you want it to be fast make it smaller then you can split it on one of the marker either the blue or the red that will determine the beats the movement of the image together with the beats so take your time and do the same to all the other images just have it at the back of your mind that you always play it on one of the macro now you can change the movements through the zoom pan and zoom to give the beats a different motion so take your time and do the same to all your other images Alright, I think we're done with that. You can we can split it and get rid of the other part of the audio that we don't need. So pre-render it for smooth playback. Now we can go through it and see what we have. Just click and play. This is what we have. I think it's looking pretty well, right? So let's get back and make some changes there. So we're gonna add some some effect right there. So we don't have to be too specific here. Yeah, just follow what I do. Just copy it. You can slow it down and also get the get the effect. Drag them down. Just consider those markers, the splits where you split them. So we're gonna be applying them to part of the images, the split, so that we'll get, and we'll get something like this, or like this, or even like this. So just take your time, drag down any, any of the effects you want, then make sure you align it, the split. A particular image you can use one effect just for part of the image and by the time you do that you will have something like this or like this so go through it one after the other drag down the effects some if you're using it just on one image you can drop it right on the image and it will apply or you can drop it on the on the track above the image and expand it to cover exactly the image you want that effect to apply to and you will have uh, the same image and anyone you don't you can skip it so just go through it i'm gonna leave the list in the description the list of the effects used so if you want to follow exactly or you want to do exactly check the description below i'll leave the the list right there so take your time and apply it to all the images So just take your time, go through it over any one that doesn't look nice, just get rid of it and add another one. Just there's no specific way of doing this. You can use your imagination, your creativity, pre-render it and let's see what we have. That's what we have so far. If you do it well, you should have something like this also. Or maybe something better. You can use your own creativity. Just Take your time, test it one after the other. Anyone that looks nice, you add it. Anyone that doesn't, you delete it. Until you get exactly what you're looking for. And so far, this is what we have. 
So you should be proud of yourself. You did something great. You create something for yourself. And when you're done, the next thing you need to do is to click on that export button in order to render your video, to produce your video, have the final one. So click on that. And here is what we have. If you enjoyed this video and find it valuable, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends so I can keep making them. For more awesome and unique videos like this, hit the subscribe button and remember to click on the notification bell. Also be sure to check out my other videos on this channel as well. And don't forget to leave a comment below, I love it. Be sure to watch the videos on the screen that we handpicked for you. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.